<laughs> really interested in like the language of the crickets. It was crickets. You smell Damn like my. a Labrador retriever after it just did a trick. You smell like six year olds that just played in Play Doh. You smell like Legoland. You smell like a trampoline park. You nasty freak. No, not turkey. <laughs> well, mm, kinda. Not turkey. <laughs> what the? Who was that? Well, mm, kinda. Not turkey. <laughs> We're back! Hey everybody, welcome back to the Usual you know, Podcast episode 88. Round of applause! Please, my panties are inside of me. Hello. Hello. Put some Lamon on it. Hey everybody, welcome to the Usual you know, Podcast episode 88. Thank you so much for coming back to the happiest place on Earth. If you're new here, if you haven't already, linked below, you see the subscribe button. Is it pressed? You're wrong. If you give it more below, then you say the comment section isn't fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. Put some Lamon on it. Guys, I hope you had a fantastic turkey day. Had all the omelets and green tea as you wanted. You know what I'm saying? On a Wednesday afternoon, half past noon. Hello. Good morning to you and everybody you love. Guys, we are a, a, a mere two weeks away from the You Should Know podcast live show in Los Angeles. Angeles, we have about 20 to 30 tickets left. Los Angeles, I'm telling you, this is the show to be at. The link for the tickets is in the description below. This is your almost your last time to act. If you want to come, if you're even thinking about coming, if you're in the greater California area and you're thinking, well, maybe they'll come somewhere around me. Probably not. Come to this LA show. We cannot wait to see you. Meet you. Shake babies and kiss hands. Good morning to you. How you doing? We love you so much. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Oh, we got co-host Cam back in the studio. I'm going to need you to... Put some Lamar on it. Uh, How you doing, Cam? You're here. Got you too soon. Riva Dirty, rewind and do hopscotch on three legs. Hello. Spank my ass on a Thursday. Call me Roxanne. Good morning to you. How's, How's it going? The, how's the coffee? Tur turkey or sausage? Put, Put some, some Lamar on it. Cam, how was your week? How was your turkey feast, Bubba? Did you eat everybody's plate? <laughs> How was that? Did you did you leave every neighbor's house were with you their a, leftovers? Were you a vulture at? Oh uh, yeah, no, I did. Yeah. Um, so we went to Oklahoma, as you know, and uh, y'all. First thing I asked was, how was it? It was good. But if I say that, it's boring and great. But but it's the way that you answer the question. You say, "Hey, it was fantastic. We did this. It was fantastic. Now we did this, and then, and then whatever. It was yeah. Okay. Okay." Restart. Nope, you just answered. Okay. It was fantastic. Put some Lamon on it. It was fantastic. We went to Oklahoma, got to see both sides of Liv's family, had two Thanksgivings. Your boy was chunky. Your boy got a lot of weight. Dropped it right back off, though. But, if you know what I'm saying, Browns to the Super Bowl. Hello. Hello. Good morning. morning. Anyway. Close uh, the door. Yeah. Make sure you light a candle. A lot, spray a lot. Turn on the fan. But. Oh, my God. I have a question. Thanksgiving was fantastic. What's your dying to know question? You ever pooped at a foreigner's house? Oh, 100 percent. And you run the sink. Oh, I have a way. Yeah. I have a way worse scenario than that. Wait, what do you do? Uh, I want to say I was ten, and I didn't understand. I think at the time I thought every room was soundproofed. Okay, that's his first mistake. That's it's a horrid that's mistake. No infrastructure is like um, that. Um, so basically, in you're very erect right now. Insta, what? <laughs> you're like so up, right? I'm what? <laughs> okay, put some limon on put it. Some uh, I was about 10 years old. I was at my Aunt Karen's house. It was Thanksgiving. About 20 people in the house. I go to take a poop. Hello. Okay? Downstairs bathroom. Very very close to the kitchen. Right corner right pocket. Right there. Corner pocket. Eight ball. How's it going? Reba Dirty, bitch. <laughs> Everybody's there, okay? For whatever reason. This is the ADHD kicking in. Full effect. I immediately start to reenact the Phantom Menace from Star Wars. Okay? Uh... The yeah. dialogue or the action? Uh, an action scene no. when Obi-Wan is retreating. Okay. So actually, this is uh, Clone Wars. Clone okay. Wars. 
he's retreating from uh, Django Fett and Boba Fett, and they're shooting the cannons, and it sounds like, meow. <laughs> I literally start doing that. Yeah, it's a bass. It was like a whale communication It down was there. bad. Oh, no, no, I'm not talking about my ass. Oh. Hello. I literally was screaming this in the from bathroom. my mouth in the bathroom, not knowing my entire entire family. Was there things coming out of you when you were doing this? This was post poop. Oh, so you're lingering in your stench. Poops already happens, been flushed. I took a two minute monologue to stare at myself in the mirror, and I was going, ew, meow, doing these explosion noises, and I literally did it for two minutes straight. Yeah. I walk out. Every human being is staring at me. And I was like 11. And I was like... Tra traumatized. Oh, it was horrible. I ran yeah. upstairs. I turned on Smack That Music Video by Akon. I started it's playing Millsbury. Not for me. But uh, it was a hell of a... It was like the first time I realized people could hear me. My mom said, what the hell were you doing? And I was like, who's Star Wars? Funny thing about you, I... I'm stupid. I well, everybody knows that. It's okay. not funny. It's actually quite concerning and annoying. Okay. Uh, well, one thing about you, one thing about you I, I, I communicated with your dad after Thanksgiving. Okay. Talk to good old Mike. Mm -hmm. Apparently, and this is... Cam doesn't even know that I know this. And he doesn't even know his family knows this. Your neighbors talk to your family. Cam went door to door after... Because Cam grew up with the neighbors. It's the same neighbors he grew up with. He went door to door to these neighbors that he hasn't talked to in years and asked them if they have fo foil plates for him. And he was getting leftovers from other people's homes to take back here. That did not happen. If I go in your fridge right now, is there not foil plates from your neighbor's house? Absolutely not. Oh, you already ate them? <laughs> foil plates from my neighbors at a grown-ass man age yeah. is, a, is despicable. You went, you, you went Christmas I went when I was younger once. for leftovers. I went when I was younger once. Okay. But that was they invited me. No, this time I'm talking about you went about five houses down. You went door to door God, no, like you're spreading the word of Jesus. God, no, not five houses down. I said, mind if I sing a quick tune for you? I brought my book. No. Do you have any extra stuffing and yams yeah, for me? I'll, I'll, instead of payment, I'll just take greens if that's all right. Yeah, no, and then this isn't Christmas caroling. From, what do you think about Christmas carolers? I don't think it's real. I don't think that's a facade. Oh, I've seen it with my own eyes. You never know you haven't. I swear You've on my life. You never opened a door and there was a, a gang of six that just came from church. I swear on my life. No, you didn't. I What'd swear on my life. Christmas songs. What song? I don't know the exact name of the song. You know it, that tune? it was a group from the church. Mm -hmm. I was at my house. It was a group from the church we went to. So they made it a point to go to all the church members' houses. What is the purpose of that? I don't... Is it to spread Christmas joy? For little boys can, and girls. I can turn on the Hallmark channel. I can get a good Christmas joy I out of I hate Hallmark movies. But they're I so bad, it's so good. It, they're so bad that my mom's obsessed with them. Yeah. She sheds a tear every one. I'm like, I That's get it. The guy's going to die. The dog is cute. The girl's a bad actress. They yeah. had the cast in Hallmark, and that's it. And it's like the bad guy's going to die. Yeah. yeah he's going there's, to I, there's no curveballs in no, the No, no, no. Starts good. Little turmoil. Really bad climax. End of the movie's always yeah. happy. Yeah. Horrid movies. Yeah. Shit watches. But I, I, I enjoy a good bad movie. You know what I hate about movies? What? I hate when you have to read movies. I mean? hate that. When, like noticing... actual like font is on the Yes. Oh. So I've been do I watch like two to three movies a night. Which <laughs> yeah, is bad. You do it. But it's a lot fun. of Afghani insurgents. <laughs> <laughs> I love war movies. And what I hate about movies is I've learned this recently about myself. When they you know whenever they put the establishing shot and they have the typewriter going yeah. up like what where they're love, at? God I love that. Oh I but what I do is I if it's a word I'm not familiar with, I go, that's Bangladesh mm -hmm, Afghanistan. Got it. I knew that now I, I never know where they're at unless it is said dialogue. I will skip I, I can't do it. And like Spider Man. I was watching Spider Man. There's a lot of text which, bubbles. Which one? Uh the most Oh the, yeah. well yeah. Well that's like a comic. Yeah, I know, and I appreciate it's like, it. Pfft, Spider Man 2029 or 2099. I hope you know I'm not reading that shit. Yeah. I, I can't I I'm I want to I want to be I my brain dead when I watch a movie. Dude, live live when we went and watched so she never saw the first Miles Morales. Okay. And she was like, Oh my god, there's so much hype. Da 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 let's go see the second one. I was like, All right, do you know what it's like? She's like, no. I'm like, it's like a comic. Mm -hmm. She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, it's like animated. She's like, no, I see that. I'm like, no, no, no. It's like, it's like you're watching a, a comic, comic book. book. Yeah. She's like, okay, we go. She was furious. You really? Because she's so her her. She hates like closed captions. Like she hates the captions being okay. on things. She hates bright, quick movements. Oh, that's Dude, definitely not the movie. She literally was sitting down and she was like, I'm getting sick, babe. I was like, <laughs> you act like it's the like motion sickness. Oh my God. Like, she was, she hated the it. The colors Everybody. in the movie are so good. Dude, it's, uh, crazy. It's, it's fantastic. It, it, I'm not gonna lie. For someone like, for, definitely live, but anyone else, like a random person that didn't know what to expect and they yeah. go into that thing and it's Spider-Man, there's yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. The scenes going, sh colors shooting everywhere. Like it'd be a lot. I have a, I have a thing about you. <laughs> I think you're getting worse. At what? Up here. I think you're losing it a little you bit. You think I'm lo losing what? Like your control. 
control of my brain. I, I'm yeah. losing. I think I think what there's something going on there that's, that's it's starting to trail off the path. You're getting worse. What path? It's getting less and less enjoyable to be around you. <laughs> like it's getting like it's getting. What is that? It's almost like I feel like I need to be paid. Why like, part time job to be around you? D does this need to be on the camera, or do we need to have heart to heart? Like what is happening right now? What is happening? You just got so small when you did your legs like that. You looked so small. <laughs> And Ex no, 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 explain yourself. I, that's it. You get it. I have no clue. It's about. just like I'm just becoming a pain to you. You're becoming. I am becoming an annoyance. You're becoming like a sheltered dog that you wish you could return. Wow, a sheltered dog. You know how y'all felt about Max during the end? I loved Max. I love you, but sometimes it's just a guy. Get rid of him. There's, There's a better home somewhere. Just got, I know someone else will take better care. I, I love you, but I want to. I want to stay. I don't want to be given away. Oh no, we're too far in now. See, but I want to stay because you if, actually want me. to You stay. know, whenever like you've been in a marriage, you don't know, but you've been in a marriage for about forty years, and you just I've this, been in one for like a year and a half. Yeah, but but when you're forty, and you know those old miserable couples that they're just life bonded at this point, so they're not going to go through the stress of breaking up. That's where we're at. That's really hurtful. Like that's okay. Not and I say that to say, be nicer to me. Kiss me sometime. Not well. Maybe not that. Hug me and appreciate me because there's an 88 episodes of this where I'm flirting, I'm loving, I'm trying to get something out of you, and you act like I'm the I'm a, I am a, I am a gum on the bottom of your shoe, and it's going every time you take a step. Put and some limon, put some limon, on, limon it. on it. You're the rude one to me. You're the rude one. I said, you're the rude one to me. Why does it sound like that? You're the rude one to me. Don't get it twisted. How? How? Why? Because okay, if this camera, if we had a reality show and it was rolling twenty four seven, I want one. The amount of hey, bitch, from you to me that would be on camera is this. Someone would create an HR department just to fire you, just to get you deported. What? Can, be careful. Yeah, that's a. Can I? Can they fire me? I don't if know. If the HR department's yeah, under on, me, they can put you on suspension. That's when I have to have like a board meeting. But that, but that, that's the whole thing, though. The, the HR is not below you. The oh, HR is, is to protect everybody. But if I'm paying them, the HR is to protect everybody. But who's paying them? The LLC, the company which you own. But <laughs> I'm saying, but think about it. The, the reason that you could definitely do some backwards shit in terms of I business. can't just fire the HR. No. Who fires them? That's the the board in the decisions. Like, so if but if I hired the board, <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. You can do some monopoly type shit. Like, hey, your your car is not gonna work. Your yeah, dog's gonna be yeah. dead if you don't you shut get your some mouth. Key and you blow up the car. Exactly. But that is the point of HR. Okay. Nobody is above the company. Like, mm. just because you're the owner doesn't mean you can verbally assault me on the daily when there's an H but, HR. Okay. This. But is we don't have an HR, so he does verbally assault me. And you verbally, you physically assault me. Put some limon on Put it. Put some limon on it. But I, I was going to say something to you. You've said a lot already. You've said that I hurt you, that you want to get rid of me, like I'm an old dog that has fleas and bad skin. I, I, rel I, I relate my love to like a, a, like a kindergartner. That's how I show love. You know how like when you're in kindergarten, you, pick you have the a ones crush, you yeah, you and you pick pull the girl's hair? I pull your hair. No, you pull some other things. Too. Hello, good Hello. morning. How's it going? Ready. Put some limon <laughs> on it. Dark roast or vanilla? You like vanilla. But you know what Hello. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Whenever you, you I, I have a but cr crush on you. It's interesting because you're not six years old anymore. People would argue. Uh, mentally. Yeah. Physically, you're not. You've been on this earth for... <laughs> God, you have a soiled brain. You've Honestly, been on this, you, you have a worse brain than me. You've been on... A, no, no. I have a dark brain. Yeah. You have a dirty brain. Yeah. Dark or dirty? Pick your poison. Be careful. Dark, <laughs> weird things. Dirty, weird things. Like, it's... <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't. I, I'm joking, but I I pick on the people I love. Ah! If I'm overly nice to you all the time, it means I don't really care about you. You heard it here first. You know what I mean? Mm. And so maybe I need to start being Drop nice to gym. you. Drop a gym. Mm. Maybe that's what. Whenever the day I come in here and give you flowers, so you're like a coach. If I'm up your ass and doing all that this means other I see thing, the best in you. Yeah, okay. I know your potential. Okay. Yeah, dude. Coaches are coaches are good people. Good ones. Some people. That's a very broad, that's a wrong very, but, statement. But a coach, a coach is a hard job. Yeah, a coach is damn a near. Of, a lot of jobs are hard. A, yes, but a coach. I'm saying what comes outside of the actual job itself. Yeah. Like a coach is. It's tough. It's tough. Okay, I've and your point. I've seen it. Just it's tough. Coaching's tough, man. Shout out coaches. 
I don't, coaching's tough because it's uh, it's tough. Yeah. So I was so you. Yeah. That is the thing about you. You do not. You derailed it. Not no, me. No. I'm saying you didn't. You see how I ask you questions every every week. How was your Thanksgiving? You act like I don't celebrate. You act like I don't have family. You act like I don't. You know what I mean? I don't know if you do, Karl Marx. Who the hell is that? Who's Karl Marx? Who's that? I had, I had a coach named Jordan Marx. <laughs> cool guy. He was in a fraternity. You know who Karl Marx? He had Marx? all his fraternity. Stop for talking about Jordan Marx. Who the hell that is? You know Karl Marx. No. Karl Marx. Say it again. Karl Marx. Okay, who is it? Like the father of communism. Why the fuck would I know that? Why would I care about him? Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? I don't know anything about anything. That's why I talk about funny things more here. Pre more precedent, yes. He's a good president? He was not a president. You just said a good president. I said more precedent to you not knowing anything. There's more evidence. That's Why are we talking about presidents? I'm so confused. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying to hey, me? Hey, clean your ear canal. I have okay? good ears. Re no, you don't. I have good ears. No, you do have good ears. I'll yeah, give you that. Do you have, have good, good ears. ears. Those yeah. cute little hoop earrings. Uh, Hello. Um, You're doing something to my inside. <laughs> I can't do it more. It's Ask me how my Thanksgiving was. You know what? I will. Okay. Under one condition. Hello. You answer what I ask. You don't derail. Okay. You don't take... <laughs> You're going to drown yourself one day. You don't derail, and you listen to me. I'm listening. First question. Hello. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy your Thanksgiving? I did have a good Thanksgiving. Was it fun? What all did you do? Uh, hang out with family, football, my dog. Malcolm. Yeah. Shout out, Malcolm. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, okay. Actually, this is a decent question. That was bullshit. This is a decent... Do you eat traditional Thanksgiving food? Like turkey, ham, all the fixing, stuff like that? Uh, yeah. No, well, well, not, no, not turkey. <laughs> what? No, not turkey. Who did you just turn into? You said, well, hmm, kinda, not turkey. <laughs> what the fu Who was that? That was not Peyton. You said, well, hmm, kinda, not turkey. <laughs> like, you, who was that? You turned like Scottish, like a Scottish librarian. Yeah, I don't know, I didn't. Rewind the t you literally said, yeah, well, kinda, not turkey. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you just got possessed or something. I did not, ask me again. Do you eat traditional Thanksgiving food? Not turkey. I do kinda say, don't I? Turkey? What is that? Not, not turkey. turkey. It's my tongue. It's a fat it's, ass tongue, I'm dog. starting to have trouble with my teeth now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm starting to have trouble with my teeth now. It used to just Wait. be S, and then it went from S to S and C H. Now it's S C H and T. Starting a podcast. Three more years, you're not gonna be able to say shit. You're gonna start signing on this hoe. It's uh, how do you start a podcast and not be able to talk? Uh, yeah, <laughs> like that's an insane job resume. Uh, uh, okay. Well, kind of not turkey. <laughs> like what? What turkey, was that? Turkey. It, turkey. My turkey. I'm. I am watching your tongue expand. I know. That is Wait, sick. So you work. say tur turkey. You say it. You say it. Turkey. Turkey. You went. Oh, wait, you say, do it again. Turkey. Turkey. There you go. Turkey. Now Tur say it in a full sentence like I'm asking you. Do you eat regular traditional Thanksgiving food? Not turkey. I said, yeah, well, not turkey. <laughs> I said it like that? Dude, that was weird. That's like two weeks in a row you had like a small stroke, like <laughs> in the middle of your. Like, I've been having back of the head pain. You have said that. Were you just like drawing a bow and arrow? No, I got a long Relax neck. Legolas? You said. I have a long neck. And in and, and, and high school, people would... Oh, my... No! God. In high school, people would come up to me with tape measures and put it up by my neck. They'd be like, eight inches today. It was a rough time. What? <laughs> the picture on the plate. Oh. <laughs> that, that is now? a cursed image. Oh, my God. Look at his neck. Dude, okay, I'm not going to lie. I do it again. That's why I have to Do it again? No, it hurts. No, do it one more time. Okay. One more time. If y'all look, it looks like his neck goes all the way down to his hip complex. Like, it's just like, it's like if you took your shirt off, his head and just a neck. Yeah. Like a flip. What's the longest you've worn the same pair of underwear? <laughs> Honestly, and you've had, you've had a camping trip or With two? zero physical activity, I'd say no longer than two days. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're a gross human being. What's your answer? You know. Matter of fact, in my head, I'm going to pick what I think you're okay, going to say. Okay, I've done it to you at your house recently. We went to an event and I was wearing the same drawers as four days ago. But I didn't poop in them. Like, I didn't fart. 
And that's really my. That's a damn lie. No, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't. Not that. Not in that four day stretch. I didn't fart in those. I was Peyton Harden past ten thirty p.m. is a shit box. Your ass starts beatboxing, dog. P.M. Peyton Harden is a sick bastard. No, no. Listen, it's I have like a- it's like we leave the room and you sneak a shot glass of milk. You little lactose freak. And when, dude, when, when there's no sunlight, your ass is beatbox professional. You sit there. <laughs> it's like no beach in Normandy. No, but I say I know. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No, but I know. I know if I like if I know I'm going to have to keep Put your hands. Down. I know if I'm going to have to keep these under these panties on for a while. I, 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 I put them under the butt cheeks and I fart every time. If I know I'm going to have to keep these on for a couple days, you know what I mean? If these are my travel draws. I got it. Three things. And if there's no PPD, I bet I got to get a couple extra shakes in there. Borderline, borderline might put on a list how much I'm shaking in that restroom. Yeah, borderline players. <laughs> Three things. One, don't ever put your hands up like your Emperor Palpatine at me ever again. You said, <laughs> yeah, do it. Okay, that's one. Two, don't ever wink at my wife while you're talking about taking your drawers off. And three, if you are inside my house wearing the same pair of panties for 96 yeah. hours straight, knowing that your sphincter is a professional beatboxer past 10 p.m., <laughs> and you just said you pants yourself yeah. to fart. Yeah. That means my house is now cursed. <laughs> there, it is. It is not safe. But you can't. You cannot talk. I you, fart. You go I to the shit. gym. No, you go to the gym at eight a.m. You sweat your ass off, and you won't take that shit off till eleven p.m. That is a damn you lie. You smell like freshly cut grass after it rains. That is a you damn smell like lie. a Labrador Retriever after it just did a trick. You smell like <laughs> six year olds that just played in play doh. You smell like Legoland. You smell like a trampoline park. You nasty freak. You smell like a bowling alley shoe. Okay. At, le- <laughs> I got too worked up. at least I'm doing something to elicit the stench. Babe, do that. You sit on a couch and you smell like sand volleyball. You sit there and you smell like crabs. Not the animal, <laughs> the disease. You don't do anything and you smell equally as you bad. You smell like a hospital bed. No, 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 no. You want to start this? You smell like a pediatrician office. You, you smell like comforters that are used for moving and moving alone. That's what you smell like. You smell like U-Haul beds. That's what you smell like. You smell like the washing machine in a locker room. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. You smell like gravel. That's what you smell like. You smell like absolute gravel. You smell like. <gasps> okay. Death? Uh, live death. No, all that's out. My God. <laughs> it's gonna be muted. I'm keeping it though. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. So you can you can try and get on me, but you're you're weirder than me. You stink worse than me, and you and you don't bathe. Okay. You smell like band camp. That's what you smell like. You smell like bank. Those are freaky. <laughs> I heard all those stories. Oh my god, bank kids are. <laughs> yeah, they're nasty. These are dirty. You with smell that trombone. Do you smell like the cafeteria when it was pizza day at 4:15 p.m. when you're getting let out of school and you can still smell it? That's what you smell. Like. Okay, you smell like a trash can after breakfast in the cafeteria filled with Bosco sticks. That's what you smell like. No. You smell like the kid that woke up late on the star exam and forgot his TI-84. You know he's sweating. You, you sm- know he's anxious. You smell like a porta potty at a music festival. You smell like... <laughs> you know that's a bad story. You gotta take that out, but that's... Oh my god. I'm keeping, I'm muting it though. Oh my god, that's bad. You smell like a kid that heats up broccoli in a microwave. <laughs> that's what you smell like. <laughs> that's what you smell like. You sick, no sanctity bitch. You smell like DeMarcus wears shoulder pads. Oh. Okay. You smell like Ezekiel Elliott's luggage after he came back from Cabo. That's what you smell like. Like weed and women? Yeah, weed, women, and a little bit of sweat. A lot of food, too. Oh. You smell like handball on a cold November night. You smell like your dog. You look like your dog. Your dog has bad hips, you have bad hips. Your dog has a bad brain, you have a bad brain. You got the same face as your dog. You love my dog, so you love me. No, I love your dog because it's an That's animal it and it can't talk back. <laughs> no, you love me. You love me. You love me. No, I'm starting to lose it. Why? That's so rude. Because so much spit. Not, so many different layers of spit. Because now, like now I'm Spider-Man. switching roles. Don't uh, be careful. <laughs> yeah, that was different. I'm I'm tired of being on the on the on the defensive. To I'm, be on the offense. I, that's what I am doing. Attack I am. Me. That's what I've been doing. Strike me. Put me down. Put the fear of God in your eyes and strike me now. <laughs> 
Merry balls, miss, from our friends in Manscaped. The holidays are approaching. But what if I told you that the celebrations are starting early? this year. It turns out that the perfect gift does exist and who else to bring it down your chimney than the leaders in below the waist grooming. Keep calm and let your balls jingle this season with Manscaped's brand new performance package 5.0 Ultra featuring the new lawnmower 5.0. Watch all your wishes and mistletoe kisses come true. Look nice when you're going naughty by going to manscaped.com and use code PSH for 20% off plus free Shipping, unwrap the gift of smoothness this season with Manscaped. P, you know I like a good slick sack, and there's nothing like a clean gift around Christmas time. Oh, that's a fact. Inside this special sack is the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Ultra, the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ears and Nose Trimmer, Manscaped's liquid formulations, and two, not one, two, two. free gifts. Oh, I like that. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra Body Trimmer and the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer feature proprietary advanced skin safe technology to protect your delicate presence. Mm. We need our nuts protected. We do need them protected. Now that you've groomed the candy cane, it's time to make sure you don't smell like a reindeer with the Crop Soother Aftershave Lotion and Crop Preserver anti chafe Ball Deodorant. Hello. Once they touch your sack... You'll never, never go, go back. back. Never. Once you're done shaping up, it's only right you put your pants presents in the best wrapping of all, the Boxers 2.0. They it. are seriously the best boxers that I am. I can't, Matter of fact, agree. I'm wearing them right now. We wear I'm not going to show you every live show. I'm wearing them right we now. We wear them every live show. 100%. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping using the code PSH at manscaped.com. Manscaped, get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. Now, what? to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. You want to know how I know Cam's a bad friend? And I'm about to expose you. Oh I'm about to expose you. So Cam's famous now. Oh, ooh, he's on the podcast. What? He's famous What? Now. Cam's famous now. He acts better than everybody. Oh, he's famous. No, I do not God at all. forbid his, your, his table isn't ready when you make a dinner reservation. Oh, he's going to leave a mean Yelp review. He, he, he's going to leave me. Leave, 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 Cam, leave. Put I've, some Lamon on it. Put some Lamon on it. I've witnessed Cam threaten to make a TikTok against a restaurant. He acts like he's Keith Lee. I did not. I shout out to that. Keith Lee. I love you, man. Keith Lee was sick. Um, this is what Cam did, right? So I'm moving, right? I'm moving close to Cam. Me and Clam and Liv we're gonna Who's Clam. <laughs> you smell like Clam. <laughs> you and Liv. We're gonna all live next to each other. We are. I'm super excited. And so I they, see, you see how I'm excited and he's not? All right. Well I was. And so I was like, oh my God, Cam, we can finally go to the gym together. Cause he's, you know Oh my God, you're he wants lying. Me to go in the gym. She you're a terrorist. Shut up. You're a terrorist, dog. You're hijacking. Oh God, watch this I'm so sorry. Go. go. Give me my fucking watch. You're so wet in your band. Yeah, your sorry. band is wet. Sniff that finger. It will not be good. No, it smells like Play-Doh. Like dead ass. It smells like salty like it too. Anyway, so listen here. Put some limon on it. This is what we're, this is what I, so I told Cam, right? I was like, we can start working out together. I, I thought I was going to make my best friend's day. I thought he was going to be like, oh my God, Peta, come here, let me grab them cheeks. So that's what I thought. I fought it, excuse me. It's Ollie. I thought he was going to be excited that he gets to hang out with me, go to the gym with me, hopefully help me get better, right? Uh. Cam uh, is famous now. So he stop. goes to a gym with a bunch of famous people that no, I, I don't. don't go to. No, I don't. He always tells me, oh, I went to the gym today. This guy has 2 million followers. We're talking about this brand deal, this, that, and the other. We're talking business. I'm like, oh, well, thanks, Cam. Cool, cool. <laughs> and one time I was trying to hang out with him, and I was like, Cam, let's hang out tonight. He goes, oh, I'm going to dinner with uh, my gym friends. I was waiting for, like, a comma. You want to come? Oh! Oh, you want to call him? Never happened. Stop being a terrorist. Oh. So I was like, oh, damn. He's switching up. He's getting too famous for me. And so I told Cam, I was like, Cam, we're moving close to each other. We can finally start working out together. He goes, oh, yeah. Well, well, P, you know, I kind of, I'm in a groove with these guys at the gym. Like, you know, the famous influencer uh, gym people. And I go, oh, cool. And he goes, yeah. He goes, so I'm trying to get on their level. And uh, I know you're trying to get on mine. So I don't think it would be right if we all work out together because it would just be too much of a drop-off when you come. Cam's embarrassed to be around me and his famous friends. Sorry I don't have the clout that your friends have and all these muscle mass mommies around. I can't. All right? I'm trying my best. 
And I can get invited to your Korea barbecue dinner with all your famous influencer people. Oh! Because you have to have a certain amount of followers to go. I am I am sweating with cringe right now. I'm sweating with pain. You were okay. We're just gonna break Cam that Cam changed up. <laughs> Cam changed up. Cam changed up. I want that to be chanted at the LA show when we walk out. Cam changed up. Cam changed up. Cam changed up. And everybody go like this too. That is to not funny. Thank you, Liv. Thank you. Liv's a part of the problem, too. Okay, let's Because she has all these famous fitness girl influencer friends. Liv has no friends. <laughs> Just kidding. No, not that. Not like that. I was trying to defend you, but it came out wrong. I'm so sorry. You have me. You're the only friend you need. God, you're long. You're taking up this whole couch. Uh, no, don't get on Bumble for friends, babe. You, uh, you don't need that. You're a great woman. You're my, a catch. My friend, that's all our friends, is moving down here. That's your friend. Hello! She's excited. All right. Anyway. All right. Are you done lying? Are I'm not, not lying. lying. Okay. Tell me you didn't We're say gonna that. Break this shit We're going to break this shit down. We're going to break this shit down. We're going to break this shit down. First off. Break it down. Break it down. Shake that money maker like somebody about to pay you. Don't worry about them haters. Keep your nose up in the air. You know I got it. If you want to come get it, stand next to this money like. Hey, hey, hey. Put some Lamar on it. Damn. Hello. All right. I'm very sweaty now. We're going to break this down scene by scene. First scene. He says that he invited himself to lift with me. I did. And I now said, I have famous friends that are better than you that I'm trying to work with. Yes. Okay. One, I am lifting Dolo. I lift no, the you're Dolo. not! Olivia. No, you're not. There's a TikTok with you on and all the comments were like, is that Cam from the podcast? I spotted Romeo. He's a great guy. I have not even lifted with the boys. Hey, Romeo. <laughs> No, we love Romeo. He's my friend. <laughs> we love Romeo. Romeo said he wants to chill with Romeo, us. Romeo, he said shit to me. <laughs> I he doesn't have your information. You, Romeo. Because you're sitting in a, you're sitting butt ass naked in a snuggie watching Abel behind the scene documentaries at 3 p.m. <laughs> That's what you're doing. <laughs> and your ass is sitting there. Okay, <laughs> you sick bastard. Here we go. Oh, ooh, I got a little. <laughs> Get canceled. How long is this podcast? Be. All <laughs> right. Last. First things first. I lift Dolo, and when I don't lift Dolo, I lift with two new gym buddies. That are famous. Neither of them are. They're Neither not famous. famous. Neither of them are. Okay. All swear right. to God, they're not. Okay, go. I swear to God, they're go. not. Go! So that's the first thing. Second thing, I have been demanding his gym presence. Before he found his famous friends. For two Before he found his famous friends. Years. Before he found his famous friends. Two years. Before you found your famous so friends. So if you th if you believe this story at all, you're a sick loser. Ooh, my name's Cam, I have famous friends, and I have more famous friends than Peyton has. Next thing, Peyton's entire following completely dwarfs <laughs> all of ours combined. So uh, nah. yeah, yeah. Oh, light doesn't feel so good when it hits the sensitive spot. <laughs> what? I have SPF on. I've never worn sunscreen in my life. So, <laughs> you know, but I, what? This is a frisky episode. It's fucking dangerous episode. <laughs> the ISOs get leaked. We're done. <laughs> All right, that's the These first can't thing. Go through Dropbox. Second thing, Korean barbecue. You were invited. No, I wasn't. Ma Olivia. No. Rough estimate. Maybe, that's 11, not an invite. maybe 11 times. That's not an invite. If I'm not in the initial plans, I'm not invited. The person who made the initial plans. Doesn't know me. Because I'm not famous enough for him. I he you, Romeo. It's not Romeo. It's not Romeo. Gage made the plans. Oh. Gage invited you. You said no because you said I'm anxious and weird around people I don't know. Be because they didn't invite me. He doesn't you just, have the your reason contact you, information. Exactly, because I'm not famous enough. This he is, has mine. Because you're famous. I have the messages. Because you invited me because I was there on a phone call. And oh. I got caught in the stray. And you were like, oh, I have to invite this lonely ass cat that's following me to my doorstep. <laughs> How long is this podcast going to last before I leave you? <sighs> you, you are going to leave me. I'll never leave you. You would leave me. Because you would leave me. Because you string me along to make yourself feel better. Because your eye is twitching. Your eye is twitching. Your face looks round. I don't <laughs> have a much, much time left. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if y'all are gonna get to see it because well, you'll get to see it. Uncle P has a new place. You're n you're never gonna know where it is. No, never. <laughs> but you're we're never, never in a million years gonna know the location. I think whenever it's set up, we're gonna do a house tour. Vlog. We are. It's gonna be a double vlog of our new place, and basically, we're moving in next. 
next week and he's moving in in two weeks. When we all get set up and whatnot, Patreon, you'll see a, a nice little a little tool of maybe both. Maybe we throw a little kickback, a little housewarming get together. You don't Are you excited about your new place? Cam doesn't like me because I'm weird. That is not it at all. You're a weird sack of bones. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. But no. Oh, my God. No. Peyton does some weird shit. The other night in the car. Okay. I'm, I'm going to ask you right now. I'm about to confront you. The other night in the car. We're driving. We're going to a gas station. I'm lit my phone's connected through Bluetooth in my car. Okay. My music's supposed to play. He's like, my phone's dead. Can I plug it in? Plugs it in. I'm driving, we're listening to whatever the hell is, I'm um, probably some hard rap, <laughs> yeah. if it's my phone. Yeah. All of a sudden, I hear like a like an insect. What was that? It was like, I, you know what I'm talking about. It like, it was, every time he like think... opened an app or something, it randomly, Apple CarPlay connected to his phone, and it was like, I was like, what the, f I thought, I literally looked around, I thought someone was in my car, and then it would go back to my phone, two minutes later, it was like, what the hell was that? You weren't supposed to. I wasn't what what were you it was crickets it was like insects dog it was cricket <laughs> whose fault is it shoddy craftsmanship shoddy cra no, no no I don't give a damn if my if my car was connected to yours why is there crickets on your phone why is there insect bugs life you had a, a ri oh my god you had a live action role play of bugs life on your phone what were you listening what do you search to find that let me explain Please! I, this kid's I, playing bugs in my car. Like, what are you doing? I've been having a thing recently where I've been really interested in, like, the language of the crickets. It was crickets! You were... I was listening. I was watching because it wasn't supposed to play on your car. It's your car's fault. I'm, I watched... Oh my god. A two hour long cricket sound compilation video on YouTube because I was interested in, like, the dialect of the... Interested in the depth? What are you gonna try to be their ruler? Take over the land of crickets? That was personal. Personal, my. You're lit. You weren't supposed to hear that. No one's ever. So that's not even supposed to be a, a a thing. What did you? If that was on Apple Music, I swear to God, I'm taking your phone it's away. Like YouTube. It was a two-hour compilation, and it plays like the different cricket sounds all the way through because it's a very interesting. Like, like how. That never question like that never ran through your brain one day. It's like, how are they talking? How is that much power coming out of their throat? If I had a gun to my head, I can't even draw a cricket, let alone know their dialect. Why are you interested on crickets? Why did your car switch to my phone? <laughs> That's an inappropriate not, that is, <laughs> It wasn't no, supposed to. No, happen. the inappropriate thing is this freak listening. Why it's crickets? You're, there's nothing you say that can defend your honor in this conversation. He just waited. <laughs> no, I'm not waiting. I'm talking, we're literally driving down. It's like, <laughs> it's like, get money, get money. Cric -cric 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 -cric. I was like, what the f? There's a, I got a bug infestation in my car. You weren't supposed to hear, like, that was supposed to be something that's just my personal time. Like, I was just, it was just a thought. No, that's the thing. Honest to God, that's the thing with you. Everyone thinks you have this great playlist. You have good tunes. No one ever knows what's coming out of your phone, ever. Why? Ever. It. 2012 2 chains, Luke Bryan, Snow Allegra, fucking cricket complete. Like, you are a creep, bro. No one knows what's coming out of here. Unreleased Gunna, and, uh, Morgan Wallen. It's just not. No one knows what's coming just, out of your phone. It's just supposed to be behind closed doors. That was a personal thing that I just wanted to figure out. Like, you, I'm just an. I'm just interested. You have like you have like 94 freestyle like basement Tupac shit. Like no one knows. Bro, but you're what, okay. You've never like listened to crickets through the wall. I'm a human being. I don't listen. I don't give a shit about a cricket. I guess that's where we're different. Oh, that's you're damn right. There's no guessing about it, cricket no, that's boy. An interesting video. You should go listen to it. Honestly, because it's so interesting. Like the crickets are powerful throats. It's a, okay. It's a hundred and twenty minutes of crickets communicating. Yeah. No, oh they're my, not oh talking no. to oh each other. God. It oh just my shows God. the different languages. Oh my God. Were you researching? Yes or no? If you watched enough, do you think you could communicate to crickets? Oh my God, you're a freak. I could try. <laughs> no, you, oh, I don't. If I held the phone up, I just don't. There's not really like a pattern I've figured out if yet. If you held the phone, what are you going to take a shoelace and put him on a collar? You're going to get a pet cricket? I've tried to put a pigeon on a leash before. It flew away. You don't deserve happiness. You don't, you don't deserve <laughs> things that are holy. Uh, <laughs> You listen to crickets, dog. Yeah. Once. Crickets! It was two hours. 
And it was just, how is it not stopping? Do you know how long two hours is? Was it even a video? Like what? No, it was like a still image of a cricket, and it was just playing the different sounds for two hours. They didn't have ads. So it was really easy listen. It was an easy listen. Why do you do that on the podcast? Why do you do that in your real life? Because it was just personal. That's just honestly, that's something that I just wanted to figure out in a moment, and it just stayed too long. A moment? Two hours is a hell of a long moment. Two hours goes by fast in my life. So long. I have no one to talk to. Oh my god, that's why you want to give a joke. Oh my god, you have crickets at your place. That a couple, you want a you couple. want a cricket's never popped out of your shower. No. Oh, me neither. <laughs> Put some limon on it. <laughs> you've never had a cricket pop out your sink before? No. And you've never heard that motherfucker talk? You've never had a you, cricket sink. You live with that guy from Men in Black, Edgar, or whatever his name was. Never he turns seen, into the never seen that. Just never interested me. You've never seen Men in Black? No. Will Smith. Never seen. I'm aware. You've never seen anybody. No. Oh, speaking of animals, what animal species on the earth would you want to control? I need to block anything. Every subscription you have to anything to do with animals. I swear to God, I need to. <laughs> no, I, this didn't I need to put me. parental controls on your streaming service. No, a fan DM me that question. I really liked it. Say it again. What animal species on this earth would you control if you could control any animal species? Mine's a bald eagle. <laughs> <laughs> what? Represents freedom. <laughs> They're fascinating creatures. They're so... It's the biggest bird I've ever seen. Oh my god, they are strangely big. Yeah, what's yours? If you're, if that's Mine, a bad it, answer, what's yours? That's not a bad, that's just a unique... Like, you're just this... You're this gem we need to protect. Like, you're... <laughs> what's yours, gorillas? Be careful. <laughs> no, no, be careful. Uh, a good a quality answer. If I have five seconds to think, I'm either I am gonna either take the ape kingdom, or stop it, or, stop it, or something underwater. See, that's a bad answer. Quick travel. There's millions see, of. See, that's them. why you're dumb. You don't think. Maybe beluga whales. You don't th see. That's the thing. You don't think. A, mil don't a think million beluga whales versus a million hawks. Would you pick a bald, bald eagles? Bald, bald eagles. eagles. The ones that have no hair. Okay, they have no hairs. Your 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 birds don't even have a faux hawk. And my <laughs> my beluga whales are enormous. Maybe your beluga killer. whales got a thing right here. It's got do. a computer they right got, here. <laughs> they got a little squishy spot. It's got a Dell laptop right here. Maybe killer whales. No, just have one answer. You're thinking too much. One All answer. Right. Go. Ape kingdom. <laughs> okay. All that's the, the thing. I win. No shot. Because I've invented teleportation. You're going to have six of your bald eagles pick you up and fly Jim, some Danny, Lorenzo, come down. And they, they, I go, I'm going to Nebraska by tomorrow. I'm air traveling. Okay. And kill. Kill. Yeah, I could take out anybody, any species. Aerial attacks are the You're most You're not beating my gorillas. Aerial attacks beat any land attack. You're not be okay. They're not shooting missiles, dumbass. They gotta come down to the land to do anything. Yeah, sir. What are your bald eagles gonna pick up bricks and drop them? A bird's never made you dizzy. What? Do you ever try to follow a bird and its irregular flight patterns? <laughs> that shit. You throw you for a loop. I'm gonna put like the teacup ride at Disney. That shit. You'll okay, a loop you're gonna say Danny Lorenzo and what was the last one? Kyle. What was his name? Sure. And you're gonna fly to Nebraska like a weird freak. I'm gonna say Congo, Mache, Tarmac. Come down and fight for me. And then I have apes. Four bald eagles make up the size of an ape. Exactly. So you need. And I can control all bald eagles? I can control all apes. You just said four of yours makes one of mine. I could literally say. So if we both brought four to battle, you're outnumbered significantly. I could bring all of them. What do you think I'm going to do with the apes? Bring a quarter of them? Kim. Ariel. A attack. million bald eagles versus a million apes. Who wins? A million bald eagles. Are you nuts? Honestly, dead ass, are you nuts? You cannot be serious. A million bald eagles. Oh. Bald eagles are the size of this. Dragon. An ape's the size of this. Okay, imagine him flying with claws, dog. He has Watch to come this. down. Watch this. You're an ape. Be an ape. Okay. I'm a bald eagle, right? Uh-huh. Ha! Oh, damn. Uh-huh. I won. See? Big, look, big and stupid. Kind of big and flies with smart precision <laughs> skills with its talent. Okay, do it again. Second come, cause you're not gonna. No, you don't get a second try. Then man. you didn't win, dumbass. You're not gonna make one swoop and murder all my monkeys. <laughs> it's not how that works. Yes, I do will. it again. Cam. Go for your second no, round. Go for it. Okay. Okay. 
You're dead! You're dead! <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad that I'm now? <laughs> Okay, that was one on one. Imagine a million of them. Okay. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a bald eagle in person? Dead ass. Dead ass. Have you ever seen a bald eagle in person? No. <laughs> they're massive creatures, and you haven't. Yes, I have. Where were you at? We're the Hendrickson Hawks. That's why they called that because there's eagles everywhere. The Hendrickson Hawks. My high school's mascot was a hawk. Mine was a wolf. <laughs> Yeah, y'all have a stuffed wolf in your lobby. That, PETA, somebody come get them. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> no, I'm saying, honestly, a million, you think a million apes could beat a million eagles? Dog. I, okay, genuinely. Genu genuinely. I'm dead ass. I'm not even making a joke. Okay, genuinely. Yes, aerial attacks. What's the best way to win war? When you have missiles, yeah, it's different. A foot missile, dumbass. Your bird has to come to my level. Yes. To attempt to attack me. Yes, and you can only stay on the ground. I can go ground, air, ground, air, middle ground. Okay. Who is it? Front, back. I can carry so much distance. What are you doing? What are you doing at middle ground? What are you doing in the middle of the air? What? We have a strategy. The only way you can touch is to come to my level. No, I can go above you. What are you gonna do? Is your is your eagles picking up cinder blocks? Have you, seen, have, you, have you seen a bald eagle's foot, dog? Yes, big talent, sharp. Bow right in your face. When your muffin is screwed up, you're done. We don't even have to kill you in the hork. We go for your face. You got one in the back, right? The monkey boy's trying to whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey's trying to figure out what's going on in the back region, right? In the rearview mirror, they're looking back in the rearview mirror. All you know. Fucking Tiffany is coming like this right here. I've named her. Coming right here, taking your eyeballs out. Monkey done. Do that a million times. Okay, when Tiffany's coming from the front, Kuban is jumping off the tree, snagging Tiffany. Hey, who owns the tree, dumbass? The gorillas! Who spends more time in the tree? Gorillas! Where do the eagles live? You know nothing about bald eagles. Where do you the think, eagles live? You think bald eagles live on a on a red oak? They live in a jungle? Where do where do where do, where do they where do they lay their Mountains. head? Mountains! Where do they lay their head to sleep? Mountains! Mountains don't have trees? Exactly, we're in the mountains. We're picking out your whole game plan. We know your floor plan. We know where your bathroom is. Here's we know thing. you have two and a half baths. Here's my thing. If your talents <laughs> aren't shooting nine millimeters out of them, you're done. You have to come we to have my beaks level. beaks too, dumbass. You have to swarm down. A million, bro? We'll, we'll fuzz you with our feathers, dog. You, you're disoriented. That's like a smoke bomb. Throw you pop and smoke. Okay, let's take it on a, on a different level. Okay. Let, let's make you think outside the box. You, Peyton Hart. I do that all the time. Do you feel more safe Right here, with five bald eagles or with five gorillas protecting your life? Five. That's not what I asked. Five what, jackass? Five bald eagles That's or five gorillas? That's not the question. Oh, but it's interesting. That's like saying one gorilla versus one bald eagle. Who wins? Uh, but uh, as a but group, we're strong as a team sport, dumbass. A million of them are in the air, and we're going to kick kill. <laughs> we're going to get wins. So who wins one-on-one, -on -one, gorilla versus bald eagle? What kind of gorilla is it? Gorilla. Who wins 10 on 10? What kind? Who wins 10 on 10? Bald eagle, gorilla, bald eagle. You can keep. You can give me any number. If I, if you, if you outnumber me, it's different. No. If it's a million versus a million, my gorillas, they are a gorilla. Damn, no, you're not thinking, bro. You're not thinking, bro. Would you rather get attacked from here or right here? Would you rather get attacked from on top or right in front of you? I would much rather, as a human being. You've never you been you, me. Yes, you've never. I would much rather get attacked by a bald eagle. That bald eagle might- No, I didn't ask you that! You just said, would you rather get attacked from here or here? No, I didn't say by one creature, dumbass. I just said, would you rather get attacked from anything? Straight on, or from the top, or from there? The, it completely depends on what I'm getting attacked by. No, it doesn't. You can't see in the sky, bro. The sun's bright. Would you rather get- <laughs> Would you rather get attacked by an ape or a bald eagle? Answer me right now. I don't want to hear shit else you have to say. You, Peyton Harden, standing here like this in the an studio. Ape. I can hide from an ape. You can't hide from the air. Dude, you said that in the mall. You can't hide from an ape. Yes, you can. It's big as shit. And they're dumb. Throw that, throw that John a nanner in an iPhone. It's done for the day. That motherfucker start doing Sudoku <laughs> he's, he's on your just, phone. He's going to start to yeah. just top at I can, I can train when I go to the circus. You can't train foul. You would rather get attacked by an 
ape you don't than know, a bald bro, eagle. You, that's because you've never been in a life or death circumstance in your life. You've never been in anything. For what you. life or death have you been in, cricket Ash, boy? Making it out of bed. <laughs> that's that's sad and deep. That cuts too deep. A bald eagle. At, I'm done at, talking about this. A bald eagle. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Last thing. At absolute worst. Absolute worst case scenario. Bald eagle comes down, gashes both of my eyes out. I'm blind. They're picking at me. I'm bleeding. That's terrible. I fall to the fetal and position. And you're dead. I fall to the fetal you're position. You're dead. I can't see anything. Do you know what a gorilla would do? A gorilla. Quick death. A gorilla would grab me by my throat. And that's your fault for letting it get close to you. You have no survival skills. Nancy classified 101, dog. Okay, one, you can't wrestle. Two, you can't run. You don't know me. One, you can't wrestle. Two, I can out-wrestle you. One, you can't wrestle. Two, you can't run. Three, you're not nimble. You die to a gorilla. There's no, there's no doubt about it. You can't fly. Guess what? You're in a plane, dog. You're on Southwest Airlines. You got two free bags. You think your life is good. You got a good, you don't have a sign seat. You just got lucky. You got a boarding group A. Little do you know, Bald Eagle Terry's on there too. He got up there. Gorilla can't make it up there. You know why? Bald Eagle's already up there. That's home, bud. That atmosphere, that's home. He spent, ah! that. he spent Thanksgiving turkey up there, you know? He spent Thanksgiving with the family up there. Okay. And he sees, oh, that's a massive head on Southwest right there. Oh, that's Cam? Mine, dog. Anywhere okay. you go, okay. anywhere on the earth, okay. that bald eagle can go. Okay. Anywhere on earth, that gorilla can't go. Okay. Here we go. Guess who just lost? You, Southwest boy. Okay, say that Southwest 0410 flight lands, right? Yeah. You're leaving the tunnel. Lands on the tar, Michael. You walk out. You grab your two check bags. You go. Not check carry-ons. You go, right? If you're in that tunnel, would you rather be one-on-one -on -one in that tunnel against a bald eagle or an ape? Do you see how oddly specific you have to be to win? I'm saying you just said a fucking bald eagle's eating a turkey dinner in the middle of the sky on a Southwest airline trying to kill me, and I'm the specific one. You sick bitch. Just because you don't listen to the full story, you don't read between the lines. You just gave me a two chapter <laughs> book about I'm getting chased down in the holiday times in November because by a bald eagle whose name's Terry. <laughs> he snuck on a Southwest flight and he's coming to kill me. He's lethal. I'm saying, and I'm the specific because one. Because I'm saying the broad point of that story was it doesn't matter if you're up here, right here. Or under here, that bald eagle can go. I I gotta be on Earth. Okay. I just gotta be. I gotta have two feet planted for the gorilla to even be a thought. You could be anywhere. Ninety nine point nine percent of your life, your two fucking feet are planted on the ground. Hey, hey. you all. Oh, the only time you're in sky listen, is in a plane. Listen, listen. And a bald eagle's not getting that plane. I'm in my apartment, right? A gorilla has a better chance. I'm, I'm in my apartment. Gorilla right? has a better I'm chance. I'm in my apartment. I'm in my apartment, right? Mm -hmm. Lock the door. Ape, done. Bald but guess eagle, what? no, done. And your patio door doesn't work. You've been trying to get it fixed since January. It doesn't work. You can't go on your patio. You're safe. You're fit. You're fine. How a gorilla could break that door down. A bald eagle's gonna go on that glass. I know. <gasps> you gotta get fresh air. You'll die. That's not true. Because if that's the case, you you would have been dead years ago. Years ago. How many patios you does your new home have? Your snip. It has one. Yours has two. That's cool, huh? Big bank egg. Gorilla mauls you every time. Gorilla clears. Dude, you have a thing with gorillas? We, you bring up gorillas every other episode. I think you want to get me caught. I am sweating and we just spoke about that for 15 minutes. Because you are dumb and stupid and- Bro. <laughs> I can't stay. Uh, it's a, that's a, you know, it's a case that we have to figure out. But I want to figure out some more cases. Oh. I think it's time to help some people with the people's favorite love doctor in the world. I think it's time to put some Lamone on Put some it. Lamone on these relationships. <laughs> Dr. P. 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 Squire, welcome, Lord. Don't well, touch oh, me. Uh, you're right. Don't touch me. Oh, I'm here to put some Lamone on it. Put some Lamone on it. <laughs> Dr. P, we yeah. had a lot, we have tons of submissions. If you want to, if you want your story, your tragedy, your trauma, whatever it might be, to be on Dr. P, hit up in the Discord channel, send us DMs on any social media. Not turkey. We pit, yeah, well, kind of, not turkey. Fucking <laughs> weirdo. Anyway, I want, sorry, Dr. P. No, P's, you're not. Dr. P. This is my one time to shine as a secretary. Please, Sawyer, please. I want to say something to them. Fuck them. <laughs> Y'all don't have, just have to say stories where y'all are wronged. I want to see some of y'all's toxic stories. I want to see what y'all doing that's nasty out here in the streets. But go ahead, Secretary. Am I allowed? Yes. Okay, thank you, sire. Basically, I was saying if you want your chance to be premiered here, 
live on the podcast. You just got to send your stuff in. I'll randomly pick one every week. If I don't pick you, don't take it personally. I'll just click on one and read it. You're not toxic enough. (laughs) Here we go. Hey, Dr. P. Hello. I am currently talking to this dude who I've been talking with since March of this year. We stopped talking after two months because he was still trying to get back with his ex. Hell yeah, he is. A couple months later, I decided to check in on him. We ended up texting a little and then hooking up the next day. Hell yeah. (laughs) I decided I needed to tell him how I felt about him. I texted him and told him how I felt, and he proceeds to tell me he doesn't know what he wants, but he will consider how I feel. Damn it. Excuse me. He has said that he's not talking to his ex anymore, and he treats me as if I'm his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But then he does this and says he doesn't know what he wants or how to feel. Do you think I'm being strung along, or could this be worth staying around? The hips are moving. The hips, the hips are, moving, are moving. The pelvis is greased. Dr. Ke- P is the ready. The Kegel exercises are activated. You got one more time to say I'm so, Kegel. I'm so sorry. It's just a buzzword. Uh, this is what I got to say. Let's hear it, Sonia. He's doing everything right. He's doing everything right. I'm it's not going to lie to you. Dr. That's P. not toxic. <gasps> just because Let's hear I'm him out. honest. Let's hear him out, America. Look, Dr. P is honest, brutally honest with you. Okay. That's why you got come to the best life, doctor. He's not going to sugarcoat nothing. He's not going to put he's not going to put sugar on that turkey. He's you not going to sugar your tits. He's going to keep it real. Hello. Don't know about that one. <laughs> Goodbye. Warm coffee. Put some limon on it. This is the thing. Just because you live in fairyland and your imagination's going to what could be, you like him. Cool. You can't blame him. He's told you. I love this girl. There's a He's, he loves that girl. Well, you don't he know. loves the yeah, Everybody loves We don't their have ex. that in factual proof. I don't, yeah, that's, everybody loves her ex. Well, everybody's got that one. Yeah. And that's his one. And he's going to pick her over you every time. I'm just saying. It's Dr. P. It's not Peyton. He is. He's going to pick. He loves her. Continue, Sonia. He loves her. Yeah. He's having fun canoodles with you. Cool. But he's told you to your face. Hey. I love this girl. I love her more than I love you. You're disgusting, yeah, secretary. Yeah, so much sweat. I'm sorry. He is going to pick her a hundred times out of a hundred. Mm. Let me not, let me be ninety seven. Let me be nice. Ninety nine. <laughs> he is going to pick her ninety nine times out of a hundred. He likes y'all's intimate moments. He thinks you're cool. He likes hanging out with you. He likes texting you. You're probably a cool girl, right? You are. You're doing nothing wrong. You're being a cool girl, and you're good in intimate moments. He enjoys that. He just loves his ex. You're going to have to come to the decision yourself. Listen. Golly. You're going to have to come to this decision yourself, right? Am I okay with being second? It's a harsh truth. We've all had to do it. Dr. P has had to do it. You got to be okay with being second with some people. Secretary hasn't. But look. You have been. You're just too dumb to realize. Oh, fuck. You're probably like third or fourth. Oh, God. You, this is what you have to come... This is what has to happen, right? You have to want better for yourself. You have to want better for yourself. I agree. You can say, I like this guy. I like talking to him. But you, I'm going to be second in his life. And if that's what you want to settle for in life, nothing wrong with it. Y'all could have a happy second place marriage. <laughs> or you can go and find somebody else who's going to make the effort towards you because I, I can assure you something. There's a guy out there that's going through the same thing, but with you on the other end. You're the ex. Mm. You're the ex that he'll always come back to, but you're like, eh, I kind of want to, eh, I want this toxic guy that's making me in and out, in and out type of thing. That's what you want. You got to want better for yourself, queen. So the one time that she reached out, checked in on him, they ended up hooking up. That was his one out of the hundred. That was the one No, no, was he's not- going to hook up. He's going to text you whenever he doesn't want to text his ex. He's going to hook up with you whenever you're, when you let him. Mm. You have the power in your hands. You're a strong, smart, funny, beautiful woman. What's her name? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> you have to grab your cojones. She you, doesn't have them. You don't know. Well, you have to grab your cojones. And you got to be like, I want better for myself. I want to find me someone who puts me first, who loves me the way I deserve to be loved. Because that's what you deserve. Don't you clap when I'm clapping. Oh. All right? Or be second fiddle. Ain't nothing wrong with being second. I'm a great rebound. I'm a great second fiddle. Anybody, not me, Peyton. Peyton is a, a great second fiddle. Oh, God. He is. I've talked to him. He came to Dr. P a lot. Oh, God. He's, he is a, he's leading the league in rebounds. <laughs> he's a great rebound. Man knows how to box out. Great box out game. He clears the <laughs> he boards. He can read the rim. Oh, my God. 
He do, he's not in there for scoring. He's not in no. there for a long time. He is a, he is a utility player. He, is a, he will go dive for 50-50 balls, and oh he will God. get every rebound. What a hell of a player. It's fun to be the around. Coach's dream. <laughs> not toxic. And you know, and that's okay. And that's okay if that's what you want. If that's the role you were put on this earth for, <laughs> that's what Peyton is here for. God damn it. I'm only up for after the breakups. <laughs> oh. That was, uh... Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P. Dr. P. Man, that's a that was an interesting one. It's a fact, though. That was an interesting. Dr. One. P knows what he's talking about. I am a, a rebound. That's what I've learned about myself, I'm man. I'm sorry, I Bubs. can't look for long relationships. Anybody just wants me after their man does them wrong because I'm nice and funny and good. And I've, yeah, you have what? Good friends. Oh. And they want to be around my friends because they're like, oh my God, my ex's friends were so toxic and I hated my ex and you're so nice and funny, but I'm not going to love you for a long time <laughs> I'm, until I get over him and I'm going to go find someone else and go get married. Every girl gets married after they leave me. <laughs> like that's a crazy part. Think about that's a crazy statistic. Think about every girl that like I've talked to in the past like two years, right? They just got off of a breakup. They come to me, and then they, get, they get leave long, me, and then they don't get, get a long-term relationship. I am miserable. <laughs> God. We'll, uh, we'll work on it, buddy. I'm trying. But do you, um, I heard something, hmm. but I think it's only right to share it on people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop, Pop culture, Peyton Nick Cam. Pop, Pop culture, Peyton Nick Cam. Bow! Pop culture. Uh, what I heard is that LeBron is still God. So, um, yeah. Uh, Damn you. you hate, no, no, Honestly, no. Honestly, you might be the worst at pop culture. They're going to dead the pop culture segment because of you. Let me get on my high horse. No one wants to Matter on LeBron fact, every two things. Episode. Scary Hours 3 came out. That's Fantastic tunes. About. And LeBron's still the GOAT. So, I think, what do you want to hear about? I think about? for these segments, we're just going to have you not talk. We're no, gonna okay. have you with a laptop. I'm, I'm kidding. Screw LeBron, but he is fantastic and he's amazing. He's doing it at year 21. No one's ever seen it before. It'll never happen again. Anyway, my diet coke. No, it's disgusting. It looks flat and it's starting to turn purple. Anyway, flat. Um, no. You have no flaccid. Cake. Yes, flat. No. Viewing it. <laughs> uh, scary hours three though. So Peyton has an interesting take on this. He thinks all six of those songs were recorded post album release. Yes. Uh, he believes that Drake heard the criticism. And said, let me put y'all back in your place real quick. If you haven't listened to the six tracks that have been put on the deluxe edition of For All the Dogs, uh, it's basically six tracks of flames. Absolute flamethrowers, torches, fires, matches, whatever you want to say. Let's break it down track by track, right? Okay. We got Red Button, Stories About My Brother, The Shoe Fits, Evil Ways featuring J. Cole, and You Broke My Heart. Now, I know Red Button was recorded after. I know that. Stories About My Brother, recorded after. The That's a fantastic one, too. The shoe fits phenomenal, fantastic track. song. I don't that could have been before, I'm not sure. That's a fantastic song. Evil Ways could have been before, featuring J. Cole, and You Broke My Heart could have been before. You're missing one. No, I just read six. You said five. Red Button, Stories About My Brother, The Shoe Fits, Wicked Ways, or whatever it's called. See, Wick Evil Man, that's when you left out. You said you went straight to Evil Ways, you didn't say Wick Man. Oh, yeah, I don't have Wick okay. Man on here. Okay, yeah. Uh, Wick Man's good too though. Wick Man's great. All of them are good. Yeah. Evil yeah. Ways though, good God. Yeah. That is. Is like, that your favorite song on it? Out of those six, yeah. that and then uh, that and then probably stories about my brother and then you broke shoe my, fit. Okay. You broke my bro. The last one's fire too. You broke too. my heart. He said, "Fuck my head." Yeah. That's gonna go crazy in, in a club. So it's oh gonna go crazy at the Lord. concert. In a club that's gonna go nutty. I like he says it for like twenty bars, yeah. like twenty lines. Oh yeah. my god. And then in the back in the ad yes. lips, he's like saying sentences yes. about her. It's, it's, fire. it's so good. Um this is the thing with me and music. I like music that I feel like I could relate to. Yeah. Like when he like talks, most people when like he gets that. on his bragged that's why I like the shoe fits. Because mm -hmm. I each one of these things where he's getting on a girl or he's talking about guys, I know a girl or a guy that I could direct those bars at. Yeah. So I'm like, that's why I like that song. There's several guys in that last verse that I'm like, oh, you... Boy. I, that's why I posted on my story. Yeah. Because I was like, I know y'all be watching them stories. Uh, anyway, Jesus Christ. Uh, and um, Red Button, it was a great way to start it because he's just like, I'll yeah, boy. Um, but him and J boy, Cole, him and J Cole, uh, back and forth is always a great. Yeah, time. that is fantastic. Evil Way is fantastic. The last song is just like a different vibe from the first five. Yeah, first five is like hard, like you said, braggadocious, mogul, Drake. Mm -hmm. It's just like 
oh, yeah. music to my ears. Um, That's Drake, though. He'll Drake you, is so good. He'll give you five barred, and then he's like, I got to get emotional. Dude, he is he's so good. He's, he's like, I don't. He's the greatest of all time. He is so damn he's good. He's the greatest it's, of all time. It's kind of crazy, bro. The like, greatest of all time. He can't. He just. It's a cliche, and everyone says it. He literally, he doesn't miss, though. Yeah. Like, the last miss song that I hate that Drake put out is Ratchet Happy Birthday. Yeah. Do you know how long ago that was? 26, 17, 18? Bro, years. Yeah. yeah. Like, crazy. Everything he's dropped since that is, yeah. I'm just like, I like it. Yeah. And even, like, I don't like Ratchet Happy Birthday either, but the people that it was made for, they fucking love oh, it. Oh, they love it. Every day that song is used because it's Bro. every day somebody's birthday. Even, Smart man. even the Sexy Red song I hate that on song. For All the Dogs. I hate it, but too. But it's not for us. But it's not for us. But even when, if you just let it play, it's not the worst. I hate it. Like, I, no, I really don't like it. Like a two out of ten. But it's not like I'm, I have to stab my ears with a pencil. It's not that yeah. bad. Ratchet Happy Birthday, I almost stabbed myself. Like, yeah. it was... It was it's birthday. I was like, Seems swipe like delete, swipe times. delete, swipe delete. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Drake's unbelievable. He's Lux is amazing. If you haven't listened to it, go listen and to it And the now. longevity. Ever since I've been cohesively listening to music, to music. Drake's Drake been has been the around. Top. Yes. And he God. hasn't fallen off. I watched, I, I, I uh, fell down like a rabbit hole on TikTok yesterday. It was like like a four-part little mini-series. Each one was like two and a half minutes about Drake getting his house plans. Mm -hmm. Dude, it was sick. Yeah. Dude, he went through, I didn't know, he went through so many legal battles to get that his mansion built. Yeah. Because like... It breaks every code. Breaks every code. I broke all the codes for zoning in my residential. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Like he broke all of them yeah. and they still got approved. Yeah. Every last code. Because he yeah. runs Canada. Bro, and he literally, uh, like the fences on his house... We're like two times the uh, like allowed heights. Mm -hmm. He said it's for security. He was like, I don't want people knowing where I sleep, eat, seeing me stuff. It's just pure brick. Yeah. Like, bro, it's. This is a. Oh, I don't know if I should say this. The amount of people that I know that have been to Drake's house is actually crazy. And I've still never met him. They've still never. I know two you're talking about. I don't yeah. know. Uh, and yeah, they. they A lot. Of, like, if you're in Canada, I can't say too much. But yeah, I know a lot of people that have been to Drake's house and still have never met him. That's how crazy that house is and like this stuff that goes in is that the same house in the music video yes. of yeah of the Tusi slide Tusi slide yeah dude that video is so fun to watch it's insane the house the house is insane it's crazy it is house. it is absolutely just yeah. nuts it doesn't make sense yeah shout out to drake the goat <laughs> shout out aubrey aubrey graham man straight from Degrassi. he's going back on jumbo tour. shit like i came from Degrassi. that's rod wave yeah it was a drake line though. okay um he's going back on tour with j cole with j cole the last four shows don't have j cole still a drake concert though yeah He's going to all the smaller markets, and which is kind of. He's like paying homage. To all well, he canceled them on the first tour. Yeah, because he doesn't want to. He go doesn't want to go. No, who wants to go? Who wants to go to like OKC for two? Who days? wants to go to Paycoms? <laughs> no, we, we love you, live. Uh, yeah. But shit, we we might. I've, I, that's the only artist. That's the last one on my bucket list that I need to see. I've seen the weekend. So I've lucky. seen Eminem. Dude, the weekend. Oh I need to see Drake now. The weekend. I've seen J Cole. The weekend. The the weekend. The weekend. <laughs> the weekend concert was crazy. Yeah. Can't wait till he goes back on tour. He's still on tour. Yeah, I don't or believe, you think I don't it just ended? That. I don't believe that. Yeah, I think it's just insane. Ended. Well, imagine doing our show nope. every day nope. for as, since we when went. we went. No, <laughs> well, it's not every day. Well, like once the, a week. I don't, I don't even think it's once a week, bro. bro. Look at the dates. On no, the, when it was in, when it was busting going, yes. But when he went overseas, bro, it wasn't okay, like. Okay, watch this. Yeah. All right. This is his European leg of the tour. After he left America, he mm -hmm. went straight over to Europe and mm -hmm. did. He went to everywhere in America. Mm -hmm. This was the dates for Europe: June tenth, June fourteenth, June seventeenth, June twentieth, June twenty fourth, June twenty sixth, July second, July fourth, July seventh, August sixth, August ninth, August twelfth, September twenty ninth. I took a little break. October fourth, October seventh, October tenth, October thirteenth, October fifteenth. Yeah, but what I'm saying is from that, it's like three times a week. But the American tour was July 14th to November 27th of 22. So I'm saying he took from... Yeah, he took that break in between. December all the way to June. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's but like I'm a seven month... That's crazy. No, it's insane. But I'm saying he And then he went to had, Spain. He after. definitely had a fat break in between. Yeah. But he, went to, he recorded an... Did, did an album come out between then? No, Don F.M. already came out. No, it was already out. That concert was unbelievable, though. Yeah. Shout out to, uh, shout out to all of them. <laughs> I guess. Um, um, in the extended episode, I'm going to be playing a lot of the extended for the For All the Dogs, Scary Hours 3. Oh, wow. Stop. I was going to crack it. I'll crack your back. Hello. Anyway. Morning. Put some Lamone on it. Put some Lamone on it. That was everybody's favorite segment. Pop culture. Peyton and Cam. Da -num -num -num. Pop culture with Peyton and Cam. Bow. Bow. Now, now, no, no, no. Shake that money. Make a this was ep 
Shake that money make us like it. Don't wake at me. It makes me flutter. Um Hello. that was episode eighty eight. Get your dog dog dog. I try to say dark socks and dogs at the same time. Get your Careful. dark sock dogs off of me. Episode eighty eight. We absolutely love y'all. Every any information, any question you need to know, who's gonna win the twenty twenty four election? Who's gonna buy out Nike? Uh the tickets in the bio for tickets the tickets in the bio description. What's your favorite color? What's the best animal on earth? Los Angeles tickets in the description. Any question to anything. Shut up, Siri. Any question you need to know is in the description below. Tickets. Tickets. December 7th, Regent Theater, Theater. Los Angeles. We're not going to anywhere else in California. Stop asking. We keep seeing the questions. That's in a loving way. I'm telling you that because I love you. Because instead of asking, can you please come here? You just need to go there. We are going to LA, December 7th, Regent Theater. We are going to see you there and there only, California. Los Angeles. You might as well go to it. And then if you want to be a part of the chant whenever Cam comes out... Cam switched up. Cam switched up. Cam switched up. I can't wait to hear it. That's a sick chant. Hundreds of people. Chanting. Anyway, confusing the casuals and to get your good karma, this week's code is L O I. Lamar on it. Put What's some Lamar on it. If you want the backstory behind that, we might tell you. Might tell you. Maybe in the extended, but you got to be on Patreon and figure it out. Anyway, we absolutely love y'all. Not turkey. Can't wait to see ya. Don't, you turned into like a Scottish book reader when you said that. <laughs> well, not turkey. Anyway, we love y'all. Can't wait to see you next week. Thanks for sticking around this long. Confuse everybody on social medias. LOI. We absolutely love y'all. Oh, shit. <laughs> and, and remember, one out of two koala bears don't make it, make it home to Christmas, and we will see you next time. Hello?